guys, it's Zia. Welcome back to my channel. One of my viewers, I think she's a very new subscriber, so thank you and welcome to my channel. Her name is, I believe, Deidre? I don't know if I'm saying it right. And she spells it a little differently than I've seen it spelled before. So I'm not sure how to say your name, but I hope I didn't get it too wrong. Anyway, she gave me the idea to use a color that I really don't like for my makeup. So. I decided that I was going to go with blues because I am not a big fan of blue makeup on myself. I see them on other people and I think it looks amazing on other people, but I feel like when I do it, I'm going to end up looking like a clown or that lady from the Drew Carey show. Yeah, like that. So I'm really worried about looking up that way, but I'm just going to try it anyway. So I have two L'Oreal items here that I picked up from Walgreens. So I have this little palette here. This is the Emerald Conquest palette. That color is what scares me. I really love this color. I think it's super beautiful, but I don't want to put it on my eyes. So that's scaring me. And this blue, I think I could like kind of work with that in small doses. I also have this L'Oreal Infallible shadow in the shade Endless Sea. I've never used any of the infallible shadows, but I heard that they're supposed to be really, really good. That is the finger swatch. Incredible. Let's see how it is on the hand. Oh, that is very impressive. These infallible shadows, not half bad. So everything is like already ready. My eyes are already good to go. I didn't do my blush or highlight or anything. I think I'm going to add some more bronzer just to kind of help this blend in with this. I don't know, it's just not working. Um, but yeah, let's zoom you guys in. All right, you guys are closer to my face now. Are you close enough? Are you close enough? Do you wanna be closer? Okay, if you wanna be closer, I'll bring you closer. Let's move on. I think I'm going to add some baking powder under my eyes and everything just to catch the eyeshadows because they are quite pigmented looking. <laughs> okay, now that we are attractive looking. As per usual, I'm going to use a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow to prime my eyelids. I think I'm going to go into my Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Bates Basics Palette. I'm just going to set ColourPop Shadow with that so that everything else blends out easily. Hopefully, we'll see. I don't have a plan. There is no plan. So I'm just going to try to make things work. I feel like to help me like these colors more. I should go with the crease color that I really do like. So I'm going to go into extra bitter. If it doesn't go well, there will be a fail in the title of this video. There's my crease color. I always bring my crease color higher because I do have hooded eyes. <laughs> and now I'm going to take the teal shade from this palette right here, this one and I'm going to apply that to my lid. I'm terrified. I'm so scared. Okay. There is no pigmentation here. There is like no color. What is this? Okay, the pigmentation of this blue is horrible. Absolutely horrible. Good thing I bought the infallible one. So hopefully this guy works a little better. I'm just gonna apply this with my finger as much as I can. There you go. I should just start off with this. I'm just going to take it on a blending brush. See how that works. Okay. Um, whoo! <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Just going to add a bit more crease color. I don't know what to do from here. <laughs> this is so bad. I am going to <laughs> do something stupid, apparently. I'm going to take some of Lockout. I'm gonna apply this guy just to the outer corners. Maybe that'll help. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll make it worse. I don't know. I think it made it worse. I'm not happy. I'm not happy about this at all. Oh my god, this is so bad. This is so bad. Good, dust away my baking because I'm going to work on my lower lash line. My crease color isn't blended out enough and now it doesn't want to blend out. And now it's like, no, bitch. We're sticking around forever. I'm just gonna say this is the look I'm going for. I'm looking for the chunky color look. That's, that's exactly what I want. So I'm applying the teal to my lower lash line because when you hate something, of course, add more of that. I'm going to take extra bitter again. I don't know why. Just, I have no idea what color to put with this color. 
maybe I can save it with some highlight or something. So I'm going to try taking this little glittery shade here, applying that to my brow bone. Why did I do this to myself? Why? Why? I'm going to apply it to the inner corners because why the hell not? It doesn't even show. There's nothing there. I am going to take a little bit of blackjack from this palette here. It, it's, it's just black. It's black. And I'm going to apply that to the outer corners. Okay. Worse. I'm obviously a full grown adult who is able to make responsible decisions. We're just going to keep going. Now I'm going to apply eyeliner. I feel like there's chunks of glitter in my eye. Mascara! That's something I didn't grab. We're gonna do that now. Let's go do that. I'm going to apply mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Here we go. Oh wait, no. No. Can't do that yet. Have to do the rest of my face. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm gonna take some more bronzer. Will it make my eyes look better? Probably not. Now for blush. My favorite blush. Wet n Wild Color Icon Mellow Wine. You ever see somebody do rage makeup? Have you? Now for my favorite part, highlighter. I'm going to go in to the Mary Luminizer. Stuck my nail in it. It's even better when you stick your nail in it. Like, see, see that, see that? That's my nail. That's in there. Great. Now we're going to put on mascara. All right, now we're gonna apply falsies. This is the best makeup look I've ever come up with. Nothing can ever top this. You know what? It doesn't even need lipstick. The eyes do all the talking for you, so who cares about the lipstick? It, does, it doesn't need it. It doesn't need it. Why would you want to ruin such an amazing eye makeup look with lipstick? Honestly, I can see this eye look on other people and be like, wow, that is really pretty. And then I put it on me, I don't like it. Okay, that's the end of this makeup look. How did it go? Not well. Not a fan. Mm-mm. mm 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 There's a reason why I don't mess with these types of colors on my face. Because I just don't like the way it looks. That nose highlight though. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm feeling a lot better now because I've stopped working on it. And I'm really happy because I get to go cover it up now. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me make this. Um, not my favorite thing. But if you're looking for a good drugstore single eyeshadow not bad not bad this is actually pretty damn good thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below if you've not already i make new videos every thursday friday saturday and sunday so i hope you guys will stick around and see those thank you guys so much i would love to have you as part of my tiny little growing youtube family and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye guys